Hey guys, welcome to Elevate again. In today's video, I want to discuss about Maven as a build management tool. I'll be covering what is Maven and where and why it is used. So if you just go to the official site of the Maven, maven.apache.org. So this is the official site of the Maven and here you can see what Maven actually is. So here you can see that it states Maven as a software project management and comprehension tool and it is based on the concept of project object model and it can manage the project's build and reporting and documentation from the central piece of the information. So this is what Maven is. It's a basically a software project management tool which we use for managing our project and for building the project. In the automation projects which we generally work on, Maven is basically used as a project management tool in common. Let's see what are the advantages we get by using Maven as a project management tool. The first advantage we get by using Maven is it provides the easy way to build a project. So in Maven, you have specific commands to run the project or build a project or clean a project. So using those commands, you can easily build a project. So this is one of the feature it provides. And the next is it allows integration with the source control systems. So if you want your project to be integrated with any of the source control systems like git or bitbucket to maintain the code that can be done using the maven and the next is it helps in packing of the project so for example if you want to pack your project as a jar file or uh, some other format so maven provides us the feature of packing it and the next is that we can add jars and other dependencies easily so let's see what does this mean basically in the maven project directory. in my eclipse i have created a maven project so this is the project which i have created and if i just expand that here you can see src main java src test java so the folder structure was in a defined format so this is one of the advantage of using mavens uh, that it helps us in structuring the project folders now let's see how we can add jars to the project without downloading them using Maven. Let's say if you want to use Selenium or Cucumber in your project. There are two ways in which you can achieve this. First is that you can go to the official site of the Selenium or Cucumber and then you can download the respective jars and place those jars in the project library. And the other way is that using Maven, what you can do is you need not to go to the official site and download the jars you can just provide the dependency of those particular jars in this pom.xml file. So pom.xml is the file which is provided by the Maven by default. And in this file, if you just add the dependency of the tool which you want to use, so it will go to that repository and download those jar files for you and it places those jars in this maven dependencies library so whatever dependency you have defined under this pom.xml file those will be added in this maven dependencies so that you can use them so in this way you need not to go to the site and then download the jars externally and place them in your library maven is doing all that for you only thing you need to do is that you need to add that particular dependency in your form.xml file. Now let's see how does this Maven work. So whenever you create a Maven project, you get the form.xml file by default. And this is the file which Maven reads and downloads all the dependencies defined in this file from the central repository to the local repository. Here what is happening is we are installing Maven in our machine. And then Maven is reading the pom.xml file in our project. And then it is downloading all those dependencies which were defined in this pom.xml from the central repository of the Maven. And then it is storing those in our local repository. Now you got to know what is Maven and what are the advantages of using it and how does it actually get the ZARS for us without downloading. Now, if you want to use Maven in our project, how to do that? For setting up Maven in your mission, please refer to this video of how to install and set up Maven where I have explained how to download the Maven and do the setup in your mission. I hope by this you got an idea of what Maven is and how does it work. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video. Do let me know your views in the comment section. 
Hope you learned something new today. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel. See you in the next video.